Welcome back, Firebirds. I'm Toner, as always, and we got a special co-host today. Aiden. <laughs> so silly, so silly. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't know. I don't know where Tanner is. I miss, I miss my buddy. But I'm happy I finally get to co-host with you. I think this is a second time. Yeah, second time. Yeah. First one, R6. Second yep. time, Valorant. So yep. it's gonna be kind of wicked today. Should be a good one. <laughs> today we're gonna be playing on Pearl for our first map. Second map will be Bind, and third will be Ascent if it goes into OT. And today we have Slum Dank, uh, Hoaxed, Happy Samoyed, Kaleoth, and Kony for our starting lineup. And we are facing the... Uh, who are we facing this today again? SIUE Cougars today. SIUE. That, that's interesting. I like that. And they have today Discount Corn, Sugar Rush, Bowl Keeper, Sybil, and Rain. Easy names. Love to see it. <laughs> and for today, for the Firebirds, so we're looking at a Phoenix, a Viper. Ugh, KO. There we go. Too many league names in my head. And we got a Fade and a Chamber. Not too shabby, not, not too shabby. shabby. I like that lineup for the Firebirds. It's and nice. honestly, you don't just really see Pearl much in the, kind of the competitive field of area. But I think for the sure. Firebirds are feeling a little bold tonight. They want oh, to yeah. something fun. And Pearl is a fun map. But if you do get stuck in those tight areas, mm -hmm. some trouble can happen. So for sure. hopefully it doesn't Choose happen. Agent. A little funny story of uh, last week, we accidentally picked Pearl instead of Icebox. It was a little accidental glitch, but we did win on it. <laughs> so I'm, I'm guessing we're just going to roll with it again. It's, uh-oh. It looks like uh, someone didn't pick. And I think we are going back to the main menu. Huh. Oh. Interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> Maybe some tech problems. That yeah, I mean, early we had a little bit of tech problems on our side, too. So Yeah, oh, there is some oh. more tech problems, too. Huh. All right, well, we're going to cut to a quick break. We'll be with you right in a minute. Select your Sorry about that. I had a few technical difficulties. We're going to switch this over to Bind, it looks like. Um, it's a little bit different lineup. We don't have Hoax anymore. I think... Uh, who got our play? Was it Happy? Kaleoth. Kaleoth, okay. So we got uh, we got Kony and Kaleoth, Happy Samoyed, Slum Dank, and Chaotic. We, we're looking at a Viper, uh, Chamber, Fade, Raze, and Brimstone. For the Fire Raze. Not too bad. <laughs> and then for attacking side, it looks like we got Sky... Fade, Ooh. Rise. <laughs> Raise, and then Omen, and then also another chamber for the the Cougars. I almost said Coyotes. Yeah. <laughs> so. It's been a long day, and it's a little bit later than we usually we're starting. So Yeah, it, yeah we usually start around like 6, 7-ish. Yeah. Now we're kind of taking our time. <laughs> we got to get the juice in a little bit, wake ourselves up. <laughs> yeah, so I might have to go grab one of those. One of those bang energy drinks. Oh, so. yeah. <laughs> Not sponsored, but... Not sponsored. But if they want to sponsor us, I would love cool. that. 
That'd be awesome. <laughs> no, look. Oh, oh. oh, sorry. You go first. You go first. <laughs> no, no, no. Go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, Firebirds will be defending first. So let's see what they're going to do. It looks like they're going to stack three on A site and two on B site. And it looks like we're electing to get a few ghosts, a frenzy, one classic, and a sheriff. It's so very interesting on the enemy side. We're looking at four ghosts and one classic. Boom, happy smoid. Nice little trap, but not gonna find anyone out there in long. So how are you feeling so far, even though it is the start of the game? How I feel like the Firebirds have to come in confident. They've played bind so much to mm -hmm. the point where they know what to do now. And it seems like the Cougars are kind of holding off for that wall to come down, and there's one. And the Cougars doing a little bit of slower push, but now peeking their heads, but Coney taking out Rain. Very quickly, very nice headshot. Oh, but quickly discount corn tanks out Kony. Our fate taking a little bit of damage. Bull Keeper takes out Cryotic. Something takes out discount corn and Bull Keeper take out Kalia. Spike is planted. Let's Ooh, see what the Firebirds can do. Happy Smoid 2v3 so far for the Firebirds. Happy Smoid creeping up a little bit. He's, he's going to find the chamber right there. One enemy oh, nice. There we go. 2v1. Last one in bathroom. Happy Smoid will. Oh, there we go. First round goes to the Firebirds. Very well played by the Firebirds there. Stuck with what they had their game plan going and just didn't rotate too fast, thinking mm -hmm. that they might be at whichever site. And very slow play by the Cougars there. I think they just took too much time to the point to give the Firebirds the confidence to be able to be like, okay, they're there. Let's rotate. Yeah. So. They're very good at retakes. That's the main thing that I always hear that Slumdink always says. Well, we, me being an R6 player, I never like retakes. That is the most stressful time of my life. But in Valorant, it's a completely different game. But I, I do agree with you is that they took their time. They strategized well, and they played off of each other. And that was really well done. I like what the Cougars are also doing here. It looks like they're going to five push it down to Hookah. Oh, yeah. Very slowly creeping up there goes the sky flash to trying to get some intel in there. Didn't find anyone. Now they're gonna split off a little bit. One's gonna go. Two's gonna go long. They know some people are in hookah. I think firebirds are just being super patient here. Yeah, not trying to peek out too fast, and it Slow looks down. like the cougars are gonna back off a little bit, whether they rotate or not see what happens here most of this is just mind games that I, for the last few weeks I, it's all it's been sometimes they'll just sit back and then push the same side again trying to hope for a rotate and that's what's also kind of nice about bind as well is that you have those teleporters and sometimes if you hit them too many times you are just confused on defense oh yeah it's something i really don't like about about this game i'm not a big fan of teleporters but they use them to their advantage, and it looks like the enemy chamber will take a little bit of damage. Sky quickly healing them up. 30 seconds left is on the clock. Cougars need to make something happen here. Predic taking out Sybil. That's one for the Firebirds. There goes the teleporter. The teleporter. It looks like they're going to try and rush the B side as quickly as they can. But some of the Cougars are electing to stay back on A side. Happy Smoke taking out Disco and Corn. Teleporting away very quickly. Bombs the bomb. There we go. Beautiful play by the Firebirds there. Also still staying patient, but it just seems like these Cougars just might need to speed it up. But now they actually do get to get a real buy and not have pistols or, yep. or SMGs here. So maybe something might happen a little bit differently. But it also looks like the Firebirds are saving here for, for their currency. Yeah, the Cougars, this is their best opportunity to get into the lead right now. Them having those massive guns right there. We're seeing four Vandals so far. And one Phantom. Oh, no. Oh, nope. Spectre. <laughs> Whereas on the Firebird side, all Spectres throughout. But next round is going to be very heavy hitting. This is going to be a big one for the Cougars. Because if they lose this, they're they're in some, in some damage. Yeah. They're going to be very low on funds gonna be tough for a while oh um, there goes the bomb and here comes the nade happy some more quickly teleporting out of there Ooh, there goes like a sky a flash little... this guy quickly rotating back to help with the team not pushing just yet some smokes will be going down by the Watching omen smoke. 
A slum, a slum, a slum dank. Chamber getting right on point there without having slum dank stop him, and they get the spike down. I mean, they're trying to get something. Oh, very close trade. It's extremely low. It is now a two v four for the Firebirds. Oh, nice shot. Cardi taking a rain. That's gonna help a lot, but this is gonna be really Ooh. tricky. Missing. That shot hurt him. It's not looking very good for the Firebirds on this one, but oh! All that time to reload. Sybil takes out Kaleoth, and the Cougars take round three. Very well played by the Cougars there. I mean, they also had the guns, they had the money, and mm -hmm. they also knew there was a lot on the line that they needed to win this one or they're going to be broke again. Yeah, so. for sure. Yeah, and it's a big thing that 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 time they I, I feel like they're just trying to play off that first pick and this time you know firebirds are standing back a little bit waiting for them to make the first move and just play off it so it's a really good strategy trying to counteract the firebirds so i think the cougars kind of figure out what the firebirds are doing i agree with you on that <laughs> Sorry, I, had, I was like mid yawn. <laughs> oh, no worries. I do that a lot to Tanner. <laughs> nice little pick there Ooh. by Sugar Rush. There's a little drone. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that's not a good position to be in, but let's like get out of it. Spike is down as 4v5 and 4v4. Kalea taking out two. Taking out three. One enemy wow. <laughs> wow. And it's all over. What a play. That was just so fast to the point where <laughs> we couldn't even call everything out. But Kaleoth <laughs> over here getting a three piece for himself. And that is absolutely wicked. I wish I could do that. <laughs> I get so scared when I see the second one. I'm like, oh no, wait. Which one should I get? <laughs> you just point and shoot. You just point and shoot. All right, as we get into round five, I think that time it was just a little bit bad positioning by the Cougars. Just like okay, the Firebirds were not too phased when that first death came upon them. So I, it, I think that was the real game changer. I agree with you on that. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with you on that. <laughs> but it also seems like they also had two of the defender or their attackers kind of stuck play. in bathrooms there to the point where if Kaleoth got that one pick on bomb, which he did, he was able to push bathrooms, clear that out as well, mm -hmm. and make a loop back around. So very well played by the Firebirds there. For sure. It looks like this time they're going to be going hookah. Flash is out. Oh, very nice. And avoids the bomb. Oh, wow. They're just dropping like flies. Kaleoth taking out Boatkeeper. Happy to point taking out Sybil. It is a... F oh, 3v2. <laughs> Arconi take took a lot of damage right there. Same with Sugar Rush, too. Very low on health. Oh, wow. I didn't even realize that. And no healers to help him out. So this... This looks to me like just a 2v1. Just a little hair and then... Uh-oh. They're done for. Toxin screen down. Oh, That's wow. That's a pick there. That's nice a double. Karate <laughs> taking out discount corn and sugar rush. Very nice with the Bucky. <laughs> that was very well played by Cryotics right there. Just being patient, taking his time, waiting for Fade to get in there to get him mm -hmm. some info, and then being able to let that wall go down and surprise Omen and Chamber right there, being able to take them both out and get the win for the Firebirds, putting them up four to one. Yeah, for sure. That was really, really, really nice for me. I'd be too impatient. I want to... Walk right through the smoke. I don't even care what's on the other side, and I usually die. <laughs> <laughs> get a little, get a little too happy sometimes. Oh yeah, I feel ya. <laughs> looks like Chaotic's gonna try to push him off this, but it looks like they're all going B. Yes, yeah, so very, very smart not using it right away. Looks like they're gonna set their rotation over. Happy Smoke taking out Sugar Rush. TP's out of there. There goes the flash and the bomb. Oh, there's one. Ooh, right. Very nice. Out of there. Happy some more getting taken out by Bowkeeper. It's a 4v3 so far for the Firebirds. Something taken that dark. Oh dear. Discount, <laughs> Discount Corn taking out Slumdank. 
Talia. Oh. One enemy remaining. Oh dear. Spike down. Coney getting a nice double kill. TP goes out. Omen going to the other side. It's just a time game. 45 seconds left on the clock. There we go. Coney with the nice 3k. Very well played there. And Steel's a nice little gun too. <laughs> Gotta reward yourself sometimes. Gotta go gun shopping, skin shopping. Oh yeah. Better put it. <laughs> so, very well played. I just feel like they just pushed a little too far there, the Cougars did. And even though the Firebirds were a little low in numbers at one point, they were able to bounce back and pick off two and then be able to proceed with that, get bombed down to the point where they're forcing Omen to come to them. Yeah. And they could just play time there, which was very well played by the Firebirds. For sure, just holding those angles is just like same thing as with R6. It's very, very... Oh, and there goes the swamp. Oh, they don't know. Now they do. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> it looks like here's one to challenge it. Uh-oh. More challenging. Cryotic gets taken up by rain. But a lot of damage done. Sky's gonna... It's healed. Oh, how'd they? Oh, how'd that heal go? <laughs> so I thought that. I thought that. So thought some they of the dead. people. So some of the viewers that don't know, uh, Spike one of the players eight. on the Cougars team can actually heal. So the one that makes the bird sounds and all that stuff has the animal. Um, she can actually heal her teammates, but can't heal herself. Oh, I was a bit surprised because I thought that. Um, I thought Sky uh, got killed off. Uh, um, at the start, I was like, wait, where where did that heal come from? <sighs> I think she was still there, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, though. I could be wrong about you. Unless she just... I don't know. It's, now a, you it's a ghost deal. <laughs> Kalia looking for those last two. There goes the fate. Oh! Gets taken out by Bowkeeper. 2v2 for the Firebirds. The, and quick fate plan. Oh. i not able to get them. And there goes the TP. It. They found my trap. There's a good way to very low. Oh, One enemy very remaining. nice. And the plant is going to stick. Uh oh. There it is. Nice. Some dank taking out rain as well. Got me a little anxious there. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but I should have no worries. Yeah, you know, it's the captain. <laughs> it's true. Very true. All right, six and one for the Firebirds so far. See, we head into round eight. It's looking pretty good so far. Quick yawn. There we go. <laughs> Quick yawn. <laughs> but yeah, no, the Firebirds are looking good through the stat line here. They got got Cryotic. That's eight and four. Hand me some Moid. That's seven and two. Slum Dank. Seven and three. Six and five for Coney, and then five and four for Kayla. Pretty for spread Kayla. evenly. I I love to see that. But unfortunately, it looks like a lot of the Cougars, so three of them have their ults at the ready compared to the two on our team. So let's see how this plays out. They do have Vandals right now, so... This is also a big round for the Cougars. They're very low on money after what they had to buy for this round. Oh, yeah. So it's a big one for the Cougars if they can pull out a win here. And it looks like two are going showers and two electing to go... Oh... Oh, and there goes Ray's popping their ult. Takes out Rain. Very nice. Oh, double kill. Very nice. There goes the nades. Wow, triple kill. Uh, almost getting the quad. Gets taken out by Sugar Rush. Very low on health there. Just couldn't get that last pick, but. Wanted to do something cool, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, Sugar Rush taking out Cryotic. 3v2. Looks like they're gonna actually push this. They're gonna stick with A. It's looking good and looks like... Oh! Ooh. Wow! Very low health, though. Spike it's always right. Sugar Rush that's at low on health. That is very true. <laughs> Just does not like dying. Happy Samoyed pushes up a little bit. Knows where they're both at. Slum Dank will be pushing in. Finds one! Sugar Rush! Oh! Might get the ace. 
Oh no, don't do it. And that is enough just to get him down there. Wow. Very well played by Slumdank. I don't even know what to say about that. I, I honestly <laughs> thought the fire was going to get him, but let's go back and talk about that raise play that oh, yeah was having going there. That was just beautiful by him. Very low on health, was able to get one pick. Oh, the oh the Coney play? Yeah, the Coney oh, play. Yeah. My bad, my bad. Yeah, usually, like, yeah, both, uh, they're kind of switch Coney likes playing Chamber. I got confused a little bit yeah. at first, too. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> From the times I've casted, I've seen Coney play. Or, yeah, Coney play usually Chamber. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I'm usually really off play um play raise. I don't think I've ever seen him play. Oh, oh yeah, but what, what were we gonna say about that play? I'm uh, very well played by him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but it was so smart for him to do that because he was mm -hmm. able to get almost three kills there. He was able to get that one pick and then use the satchel to get the other one while the other teammate was running away. So yeah. very well played. And just applying that pressure, it just worked magnificently for the pirates. Ooh. Oh, Bo Keep takes out Slum Tank. They Looks like the Cougars were pushing long there. All of them, all five second in. There goes the wolf. Gets oh, the taken wolf out. I've seen him. He didn't shoot him. Whoa, and the plant is down. Sybil takes out Happy Samoyed. 3v4. So far for the Firebirds. Oh, very nice. There goes a Granada. Discount Corn takes out Kratik, and Kayla takes out Sybil. It is all tied up two on two. Ooh, Scratch that. Situation. <laughs> oh, very close. There we go. Round goes to the Cougars. Seven and two so far as we head into the 10th round. That's going to hurt the Firebirds a little bit, but they're still full buy-in. It looks like... We got, uh, we got two vandals that look, yep, uh, two vandals, one phantom, and looks like, uh, one's gonna have to put a specter, but then the rest is gonna be vandals. <laughs> <laughs> that was very well played by the cougars there, being mm -hmm. able to get the pick, being patient, just being able to get onto point, and then able to hold it and kind of push the firebirds out there, very well played by them. It was great pressure, it's very well executed, you know, having that five stack out, going be long, just well done, slim done. <laughs> Slam dunk. Slum dunk. Slum dunk is going to be taken out. I've taken out one. So five before so far. A minute 20 left. Looks like they're just going to play a little bit for time. Just trying try to play some mind games. But it looks like they might try and go. Slum dunk. Here's something here. Oh, yeah. There Smoke's goes down. the wolf. And the smoke is down. Nice little push that the Cougars got going here, but it seems like the Firebirds are understanding that they're not there and they're going to come to B. Mm -hmm. There goes the flash. Face your fear. Ooh. Ooh. Doesn't awesome. hit nobody. Hey. Happy Smoke's going to hide in that omen smoke. Slumdank's going to try and hold their ground, but gets taken out by Discount Corn. But Kayla takes out range, and Sugar Rush takes out Kayla quickly in succession. Happy Samoy takes Sybil, gets traded by Sugar Rush. Very nice. 2v1. Oh, he knows he's there. Ow! Oh. All right, last one remaining. Oh! Oh! The wrong time to wow. use the ultimate. That was just no very word. well played. I mean, Omen had the right idea, don't get me wrong, but he was just in that open position mm -hmm. that Chaotic was just able to just push in there and be like, he's using his all. He's not going for me right now. He's got the bomb. He's Pretty sure. And, and with the classic, nonetheless. Yeah, I know. I, I don't feel like the Bucky would have reached or would have been able to get him in time to the Bucky. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, don't get me wrong. He would have been very, very low on health, but... Very well played by the Firebirds. It's cooler with the classic. <laughs> Showing that he's got some skill with that. So. Oh, yeah. It looks Ooh. like Chamber's going to be popping an ultimate this round. Coney? Coney's going to find one. Maybe two. Ooh. No, gets taken out by Discount Corn. Sybil falls, but it looks like Discount Corn will take about half. Or uh, is that half right now? Gets destroyed. Ooh. Credit gets naded out. A little bit slower push again. Looks like they're trying to back off this. At least the fade is. The fade's probably going to try to go to B where only one of the Firebirds is holding it down right now. 
Yeah, maybe looking for some flankers, but I don't think uh, Firebirds have been flanking too much uh, this uh, this game. Oh, we hear Whoa! Wild Whoa! Play. Oh, chaotic there. <laughs> very, very good angle right there, and it looks like again Chambers at one health. Oh, the double fade. <laughs> It's like you, all three of them gonna be rotating off. You weren't kidding about left. Sugar Rush there. Very low on health. <laughs> Once again, just does not want to go down. I know. There's some something about it. It's just like that's amazing. <laughs> oh, there goes the raise all and there goes the brimstone all quickly takes out Bowkeeper. 12 seconds left. There goes the Molly. One enemy remaining. All right. One health left, but with enough. <laughs> wow. Just the wall gonna, bang. <laughs> I'm just going to fire as much bullets as they can take. 9-2. See, you know, me and Tanner don't like to discuss it. So I'll let you kind of think about what can possibly happen here if the Cougars go up. But let's hope they don't. That's not going to happen. <laughs> That works. Well, those if, numbers if they, don't exist, dude. You talking about nine and three? Oh, no, it, it doesn't exist. If Steam can't say three, <laughs> I won't say three either. Half Life Three, been waiting for it for my entire life. I haven't gotten it. If I don't get that, I can't say that. The numbers you just said right there. Oh, there goes the Fade Wolf. I'm gonna find someone, Ooh. and Happy Smoke quickly teleports out of there. Sixty-three health left. Trying to pull out those amazing plays by the other chamber too, trying to be on one health, but because TP Coney take out a rain. Oh wow, and has an op as well. Coney's looking for something there. He's waiting for one. Ooh, there goes the blind. Happy Samoid. Might get taken out by these nades. Ooh. Barely stays alive. Wow. Ooh. Sibling discount corn take out happy smart and slum dank. Tony almost finds that sky. Sky at one health. <laughs> two v two so far. Oh, ooh. oh no! Oh, my goodness, very low health for both. Or sorry, for one of the cougars. <laughs> I thought he got a good amount there, but playing a little bit of whack a mole. Yeah. Tony in a very very hard situation here. Thirty seconds left. Especially with the op. I have faith. Picks up a vandal. The only skin I have on a gun. One There's one. one! Oh, there goes the nades. And the TP is down. Oh! oh good one! Wow. Very well played by Coney there. Taking his time, dropping the op for something a little bit more better for close range. Mm -hmm. And just getting that victory for And her. getting a very nice 4K right there. Very well played. <laughs> See, those numbers don't exist. 10 and 2. We're 10 and oh, 3. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Firebirds go to attack now. And this is what I love about Slum Dank here is that, as Tanner likes to say, he is a lineup Larry for those people um, at home that don't know that. He never wants to play video games with me because he's working on lineups. <laughs> I'm like, I want to play. Is he your roommate? No, no. He just lives down the hall. Oh, about okay. a mile away from me. I'm okay. Like, <laughs> but no, he never wants to play with me. Always working on lineups. So Slum Dank, if you're listening here, I want to play some Valorant. Please, <laughs> play some Valorant with Tony. Wanna... He wants to play with. I want to learn. <laughs> but all right, we're going to round 13. Looks like 10 and two so far for the Firebirds as they have their first attack in round. The wolf Ooh. goes out. Is not gonna find Sky. They're gonna be trying to take B. As quickly as they can. Sugar Rush taking out Coney. Very unfortunate having that <laughs> their top fragger down, but all these Firebirds know what to do. Oh my gosh, I just thought for a Why second that <laughs> that he was standing, one of the opposing team was, was standing right in front of him. <laughs> I probably forget the, the colors kind of messed me up a little bit. Yeah, you should have purple for, for my color scheme. I, I can't see this color. Oh, oh, oh wow. Wow, a lot is happening right now. Something take out a civil sugar is taking out uh, one of them. <laughs> Kayla Happy Smoke getting a pick. And wow. Samoid finds that final one onto the fade. Very wow. well. <laughs> Firebirds will take round 13. We go 11 and 2. And we're going to round 14. 
Very nice. They're all going to be buying Spectre. Oh, and never mind. They're going to be buying a Bulldog and a... Oh, never mind again. <laughs> oh, I know this name. I've been playing too much League. I can't think of it either. Uh, come on, Happy. Come on, switch it. Switch, switch, switch it. it. Switch it over. Come on, Happy. Stinger! There, there we go. I don't know that. I always love playing in the Stinger. Oh, I hate the Stinger. Oh, it's so wicked good. No. Great fire rate. It is just perfect. Fade Orb goes out. It is going to find him. There goes Very well dog. played Viper Wall there by, by Kreatic. And a Oh! Kreatic taking out Rain. And the spike has been planted by V4 for the Firebirds. Checking the flank now. Oh, there we go. Nice kill. But Sybil taking out Kony. 4v3 now. Wow, what a pick. Happy Samoy taking out Sybil. Kayla at discount corn. Sugar Rush taking out Happy Samoy. Oh, no. Oh, very nice. And it is now match point as we head into round 15, 12, and match 2 for point. the Firebirds. Just absolutely well done. Very well played by the Firebirds. They're just staying as patient and calm and collective as possible and not over pushing to the point where they're going into their spawn. Mm -hmm. And that's what you like to see sometimes when you get that bomb planted. Let them come to you. Don't go to them. Yeah, so. for sure. That's the beauty of hacking defense, you know? That is true. Just like knowing the rules that on defense, sometimes I do want to attack a little bit and I usually get killed for it. <laughs> I mean, sometimes you kind of have to attack once they get that bomb down, unfortunately. Yeah, almost like the... Um, kind of like a roll switch, you know? Defending the bomb, like once you get it down, you switch from being attackers to being defenders. Alright, Kalia finds one. Out there is gonna push up as quickly as they can. Oh, and Kony taking out Sybil. Rain taking out Chaotic. Very nice slum dank takes out Sugar Rush. Kony doesn't see that there's left. But Rain gets two kills on the board. 2v3 so far for the Firebirds, and the plant will go down. Kony looking for their twin sister in the smoke, but gets taken out by Bowkeeper. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, but it goes down. Oh, the tether. Slum Dank is decayed. Almost finds that. Oh, ooh. <laughs> Discount Corn takes out Slum Dank for the third round going to the Cougars. That was a very hard one. And sometimes you don't really get to see Slum Dank on point that much. At least from the times that I've been able to watch him and cast him. But mm -hmm. he likes to stay a little bit farther back so he can oh, get yeah. the lineup going. So. Oh, yeah. It was a. I think it, I think it's because I think he used his molly earlier on oh, while he was playing yeah. for it. Because normally at around that time, yeah, he would be backing up and he'd just be like, okay, which pixel do I have to go again? All right, <laughs> I, I got to hug this wall, look at the green pixel on the coordinates of 78, negative, four, whatever it is. <laughs> Too funny. I swear he has at least 100 lineups memorized and I... I don't know how you could fit so many of those lineups inside the brain. I don't know. I did. Oh, discount court taking out happy some. Yeah, I don't know either. Hey, yeah, uh, I just try and guess. Yeah, me too. Sometimes so. And like it works I, out. Yeah, do a little bit of Sokotoa, a little bit of geometry, and uh, I equals mx plus b. Mhm. Mm Gotta do it sometimes. Real world solutions. <laughs> it's like it's a four v five situation here for the Firebirds, and I. I think they might be backing off here. Yeah, it looks like a slum deck and chaotic are gonna stay there just, just so the team is gonna rotate, but to see what they're gonna do. Oh, very well played. Bob. Oh, very nice using that I got combat stim <laughs> to get out of there as quickly as they could. Oh, discount corn getting the second kill on chaotic. It's not gonna be good for the firebirds, but there is only one cougar on point b so let's see what they're gonna do 35 seconds yeah, left on the clock going right now and I, and I think there they go now they're making the rotation back all right there goes the grenade and it's a free point for the firebirds here and the plant goes down but they're gonna be 
<laughs> Quickly surrounded. Coney taking out Sugar Rush. Oh, and a double kill on Discount Corn. Making a 3v3 situation with both Fade and Raze. Oh, wow, low. Kalia. No. <laughs> Not being able to think of <laughs> But Sky just running. There we go. There's oh, there. oh, my. Slum dank. You just gotta do it, don't you? There's one. Oh, there's two! <laughs> wow! I could not end any better with a lineup from Slum Dank, the captain. I gotta have a talk with him later. <laughs> not cool, man, but wicked good for the Firebirds as we take Bind, the first map. Wicked, absolutely wicked. Coney going 20 and 13. MVP of the game. That was great. Very well played by the Firebirds there, but I feel like the Cougars also did they put up a good fight with them oh yeah it just seems like some of the shots and some of the points just couldn't connect a little bit sometimes and that's what they fell short on mm -hmm. so but hopefully on this next map where we have no clue now what this map yeah. is going to be but hopefully they can maybe readjust take maybe a little time out a little breather mm -hmm. and kind of be collected and calm about what's going on with this next map and be able to do something against the firebirds for sure so. i completely agree with you i i think the big thing is that just the firebirds got such a great early start applied a lot of pressure and the rounds have been close they've been relatively could sway each way the firebirds just know how to play retake a little bit better and they know those lineups when they get that spike down on attack so it's just going to be trying to work around there would be the best thing for the cougars to do but so far it's been a really good game but it looks like we're going to take a quick break as we go into map two. So we'll see you in just a bit.
And we are back, and as we go into map two, we are going to be playing on Pearl. I love this map. It's so pretty. <laughs> it is very pretty. <laughs> and sometimes you get to hear the music on it, too. So oh, very so, cool. So pretty. And if you look up, you can see some whales. The nice little city under the sea. <laughs> what a nice vacation spot. I kind of want to go there. And be in a 5v5 situation. <laughs> Maybe I can hold my own. Shoddy in a corner. I just... Just wait. Just like I do in R6. I just hang out by the window. So I, I was actually talking to Slum Dank while, while we took that five minute break. And he was actually telling me you're kind of cracked at, at Valorant from what I've been hearing. He needs to not lie to people about that ever. No, 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 no. I'm not good. I am not good. But today it looks like we're going to be on defense first as per usual. Coney's going to be playing Chamber. Kaleoth will be playing Fade. Happy Samoid playing KO. Slum Dank playing Viper. Still has some good lineups with that. And Hoax playing Phoenix. That's a new one for Hoax. I, yeah, wait. Yeah. You does he play, play, play Jet? Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. It should <laughs> well, be very interesting <laughs> for him. It'll be a, a fun little fun little experiment. All right, and it looks like on the enemy team. Let's see what we got. We got a fade. We got a phoenix chamber viper. Oh, it looks like pretty much the exact same thing. Only thing being the rays is gonna be taking. Ah, oh, what was it? Hang on, let me put my glasses on. Bada 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 bop bop. Instead of a fade, they're gonna be going rays. There we go. Or is it rise? I I never know. I believe it's rays. Go, I'll go with something. I like Ray's better. It sounds like Raising Canes. Raising Canes. <laughs> <laughs> Not sponsored, but I wish. Oh, that would be a good sponsor. But they don't have any in Wisconsin. Oh, I, I want one. I think oh. they're. I think they're built. Ooh. All right, Ooh. and it looks like they're gonna be taking over mid very quickly. But it looks like two of the Cougars are gonna be going B long. But they're gonna meet Coney there. Hoax takes out Levis. Very nice. Heals up a little bit for the next fight. Happy Smoy taking out Sybil. Wow, very good start for the Firebirds. Oh my! Oh my! Happy Smoy and Coney taking out Bowkeeper and Discount Corn. One more left and Coney finishes it off against their twin Sugar Rush. That was quick. That was very quick. <laughs> I mean, too quick for me to kind of take it all in and see what was going on there but yeah I, I mean just that split push they were just stopped at every single track that's from what i saw but i was too busy looking at how beautiful this map is <laughs> but it looks Very like this true. time they're gonna be five stacking on a side or maybe a few couple going mid trying to take art very smart choice i i love this map everyone compares it kind of like a csgo map it, it honestly now that you say that it kind of reminds me of one but also with this new map that comes out, it's kind of hard for all the new play or all the players because they have to learn the lineups, mm -hmm. they have to learn the new angles and all that good stuff. Ooh. Happy Samoy taking my favorite strategy of all time, hiding in a corner and using a judge. I highly admire that strategy. I hope it works out. Slum Dang taking out Discount Corn Sugar. Oh, happy Smoke gets one. Get two. Very nice, sir. 3v2 so far for the Firebird Chamber. Again, at very low health. Wow, that's like that. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. Kayla taking out Sugar Rush and Host taking out Levis. Wow. I, Once again, I, I like very that. Fast. I like that. And Happy Smoke taking Judge again. I applaud you, sir. I very much like that. However, it looks like the Cougars all have Vandals, some with Light Shield, some with Heavy. So it's going to be interesting how they're going to play around that. So this is definitely the round that the Firebirds need to be on top of their game. That was just very fast again. Yeah. <laughs> I like it about this map. Like what you're saying, like, uh, 
you know it's hard learning a new map but this one has been absolutely enjoyable it's one that oh wow oh wow <laughs> i love it and picks up a phantom runs away there goes a knife and suppresses two agents it looks like oh oh bowkeeper takes on a hoax and leave is taking out happy samoy looks like they're gonna be pushing towards that a side through mid so many there. wow they're Two, moving in a four. pack now. Oh, yeah. Not leaving one man behind. It's like Alia sneaking around. Coney finds a trap and quickly destroys it. Looks like it's going to be a big flank for him. Waiting for that wall to go down so they don't get decayed. Didn't get that plant down. Oh, oh finds yeah. two. Spike planted. Oh, wow. There we go. But got two people down. Pretty nice. I agree. I mean, I like what the Cougars did there. They moved as a pack and mm -hmm. it seemed to work for them. And then once they kind of separated from that pack, it was two people with each other and yeah. being able to have those numbers. And that's something the Firebirds kind of fell short on in that little last half is where they kind of didn't push together and they got caught off guard. Yeah, it had great spacing and great pacing as well. A little bit of a rhyme to it. <laughs> but, you know, taking over mid, it's very important. Takes away the entire flow of the game because you can easily get to their spawn from there with almost no one stopping you. It takes away so much space for the Firebirds to to go back and uh, play off of... Um, play for retake. But it we'll looks like this up. time they're going to let go in five on to be long. Big push, and that's also a big push getting oh, out of there. And a big rotate over. But I don't think they're going to be going for... Yeah, oh. it looks like they're going to start splitting off, going to mid, slowly creeping up, but no Firebirds are going to meet them there, leaving mid completely open for the Taken. So this is that thing, but because the Firebirds have two on B, they can try and stop them. Very interesting play here by... The Cougars just trying to find another pick just to get on point, but it also still looks like that race is about has, ha, half health. Mm -hmm. And it looks like Hoax is trying to hold down mid, but isn't going to see anything. It looks like they're going to be pushing over Ark. Slumdink knows that they're there. They can do everything they can to slow him down. 30 Ooh. seconds left on the clock. And they're going to be rotating out of there, going to try and rush to B, but Hoax is going to find them. Oh, wow. Wow. Double kill. I think that was not the same bullet. Sugar Rush taking out hooks after that quick 2k. There goes the flash. Happy Samoy That's meets one. one. Almost meets mid. the second. Spike was down for a quick sec. 3v2. Coney's going to find the last two down there. It's going to let them try to get There's a one. one. Spike down B. Wow. <laughs> and that is just all the time. And that... finds their twin brother. <laughs> wow. Just waited his time, just was patient about it. Very well played by the Firebirds, being able to burn that time down. And it seems like that's what the Cougars did last time, is they mm -hmm. just took too long, couldn't make up a, make up their mind, and just couldn't push a single area. So Yeah, they're just throwing their strat right back in their face, and it looks like this time the Cougars will have to save a little bit half buying for this round. Some stingers coming out. We got a Sheriff, and we got a Classic so far. So let's see how this runs out. I'm loving seeing everyone's playing Stinger now that after the, the quick buffs, Hoax ulting right there gets a little bit of intel, knows that they're going to be trying to take it over mid. And there goes the knife, does not find anyone, I don't believe. Only finding the orb, and their ult will be ready. Hoax getting out of there. Looks like the KO. From the cougar side has a little bit of damage done about 30 health and this time they do not have a sky to heal them a minute left on the clock and they're still trying to find the right ground to push either art going or going down look at coney in the back just looking for something He's trying i'd to love to see it oh it's quickly taken out that's the pick that they need look at them they're going to capitalize off that now. The raise gets taken out by Slumdank. 4v4. A lot of damage done to that KO, though. They're going to be trying to run to A as quickly as possible. 30 seconds left on the clock. 
30 seconds left. The Cougars need to make a move here. They got another 30 second push that they're trying to make here for the 4v4 situation. Mm hmm. 20 seconds left. There's one. There's oh, almost two slum didn't take out a boat keeper though. Oh, and a triple goes to slum. Happy Samoyed taking out Levis. Very well played. Yeah, there's just no time left for the Cougars. They just can't find that initial push. The defense that the Firebirds are giving out is just impeccable. It's just amazing. Yeah, I can totally agree upon that because it seems like the Cougars are just taking their time and their their strategy right now is that they want to play for picks and then move for wherever they can with that pick. Mm -hmm. And it's just not working out for them. And it seems like the Firebirds have caught on because that's what they did in the first game. And exactly. the Firebirds caught on very, very fast and they did it again. And if the Cougars want to push this to game three, they're going to have to start pushing hard and getting onto areas and they have the people to do it. Yeah, pushing fast and pushing strong because right now the Firebirds are electing to put all five of them in different locations. Not anyone is together trying to get all those lines. So if they pushed fast, that could be the thing that wins them around. There goes the knife. Everyone suppressed on A side. Slum Dank taking out Bowkeeper and Sugar Arch taking out Slum Dank. And there goes the swamp. Also got the res. Wow! Spike down A. Oh. Very close. 2v4 for the Firebirds. And that swamp is still up. Spike planted. It seems like a couple of the cougars are very low on health. Knife gets taken out. I think the Firebirds might just pull it and just save this round. That would be a smart decision, but I don't think they're going to give it up. Oh. Now they will. <laughs> yeah, just waiting just to make sure no Cougar is going to come out of there having a very deadly line of sight, but it looks like none of them are going to be going that way. Electing just to go through Defender Spawn and their Phoenix going through Attacker Spawn. Very well played by the Cougars there. Being able to get that alt there, both alts actually mm -hmm. from KO and Viper, being able to just get them on point, being able to take them out and kind of push them out of that area. And it seemed like the Firebirds were fine with that and being wanting to be able to do the retake, but it just seems like that crossfire from that mid area and just kind of was able to keep them out of it and For sure. it stuck there. So, yeah, it looks like they took my advice with that and they just. They just committed, you know, they just went right through it. And there's only one Firebird defending Ooh. that site at the time. But it looks like Slumdank is going to immediately throw yeah, down their alts. There goes the swamp. Two Cougars will be going mid, quickly backing up, going over to B long. Yeah, unfortunately, that ult was not going to help him out. Oh, Poke sees him. Backs off pretty quickly. Yeah, this is just a really Sibyl tough place to challenge. It's all about skill and timeliness. But a hoax takes out Sybil. B long is one of my it, one of the most deadliest things that I, I never want to play with. Oh just for that reason, but Happy Smart quick quickly taking out Levis right after that quick pick by the enemy chamber. Looks like they're gonna be rotating off. Right as Happy Samoyed uses ult as well. So it looks like two ults will be wasted. I think they know now that they're rotating off, but Slum Dank also still has his ult applied on A. So maybe not entirely. A waste. 30, 30 seconds, seconds left, left on the clock. 4v3. You're going to be pushing from two different angles, it looks like. One from Mart and two from just... Ooh. Oh! Oh, nice. wow! Picked there by Kony, being able to flick him so fast. Yeah, had a great teammate to help him out in that situation. That's going to really help for their eco. Five seconds left. And the Viper will be backing off. Two seconds. One second. The round goes to the Firebirds. Oh, Careful, no. Tony. Oh, no. There we go. 
just kind of looking at him like, w what happened there? I thought you had it. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit unfortunate, but still can full buy. So it's looking good so far. Happy Samoyed is going eight and three. Coney six and four. Slum Dang six and three. Hoax five and four. And Kalia three and three. And for the Cougars, Discount Corn at six and five. Sugar Rush at five and six. Bowkeeper three and six. Levis two and five. And Sybil one and six. Pretty even spread on the board as we go into round eight five and two for the firebirds doing really well but this time the cougars are electing to go towards mid we have no firebirds holding down mid too but they also have that chamber trap there set down mid lane i think it's smart letting them just take a little bit of space but having these corners that if they push they're gonna be stopped right in their tracks I like how this map is big and small at the same time. It has a lot of close quarters and a lot of long angles. It's just a great balance of the two. I agree with you on that. And it seems like down B long. That is a very well played area that you need to have that um, confidence to be able mm -hmm. to get those kills. And it seems like Tony right here is pushed up a little close trying to get something to happen here. Oh, almost finds one. But Hoax takes that Bowkeeper. It's a little bit of a flash. Ooh. Very nice. Takes out Sybil, but quickly gets taken out by Discount Corn. 30 seconds left. Firebirds quickly rotating over to help out their teammates. Once again, the Cougars are also in a 30 second rule here. Wow. Nice pick by Coney there, getting it on Levis. Levis? Levis? I, 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 I call him Levis. Uh, uh, do I say Levis? Levis go either. Or I'm happy someone taking them out. One of the two. <laughs> <laughs> One of the two. But yeah, just like what you were saying, it's just like that B long, you really got to have someone holding there and you got to have someone holding A just for those short quarters and long quarters. And if you look at mid, it's kind of like flip, uh, or not really flip, -flop, sorry. <laughs> Where it's just that that short angle over in an art section and just that um, that short side and B after mid. That it's just well done. I I love that mix so much. There's so many different options you can take, so many different routes, so many different ways to play this site. Very well said. It seems like there's gonna be a big a push here but let's see if the cougars can actually commit to it and it seems like they're going to with rays getting oh. instantly killed by ham and samoid and firebirds quickly rotating over to help out their teammates but that's what they needed to do it's just unfortunate that they quickly got taken out however two firebirds are badly injured so it was not without fault minute left remaining here come the smokes So if they'll be pushing up discount corn takes out two slum dig and happy samoid looks like sugar rush is getting that plant down oh i didn't even know that wall was wall bangable me neither i always forget that's how this game where i thought it was only siege 3v3 host takes out levis oh no Tony's last one remaining. Come on, right in front of you. Oh! At least no ace. Yeah. But that thrifty is going to be really devastating for the fire. It's just an eco stand. And so it looks like they're all going to be buying vandals and phantoms. Very well played by the cougars. Just being able to get on site and also wait for the smokes to just be up there so they could just push on putting that one firebird in a very, very tricky situation yeah. situation to the point where they had to back off there. Yeah, it was a really nice push. However, I did think it was gonna go into the firebird's favor. They had the numbers and they and the uh cougars just didn't capitalize it, but it was just a misplay by the firebird. It's still really well done. They have adjusted very well. Taking three rounds so far, hoax. Taking out Sybil really quickly as I'm talking. I can't. I gotta start talking faster. <laughs> yeah. Because right now at this point, there's only one Firebird on B, so they just gotta go with it. They got the smokes for it. Here goes the flash. Discount Corn takes out Hoax. 
Very well played by Discount Corn. They're also Bowkeeper getting another one on Happy Samoid. And it looks like the Chamber is at zero health again. Same with the KO. Very low, about 20 health. It looks like Coney's trying to look for something here, waiting for the rotate. He's going to get one. Oh, there's one. Spike down B. Oh, wow. Teleport's ready. Spooky position. Boom, there's another. One enemy remaining. Oh, oh. no. It's all right. That one ult was cool enough. And a 2v1 situation left. here for Levis. Yeah, 30 seconds left. They're going to try and rotate all the way to A site. Or maybe opting to just take mid this. Yeah, very smart. Our oh, he hears them. Are rotating back. Ten seconds left. There goes the wall. And Kaleoth and Slumdank are there. Wow. Stop them. Kaleoth trying to go in there for the knife. But Slumdank was a little bit greedy. Shame on you, Slumdank. I think there's going to be some conversation talked about that. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. As we head into the 11th round, 7-3 and three so far for the Firebirds. And just an even board overall. Great KDs across the board. But Discount Corn for the Cougars is by far their MVP going 12-7. and seven. A gift. It looks like he's stepping up this game too because I know and when he was playing on bind it wasn't really a big he wasn't a big playmaker on it and I like how he's stepping up here for mm -hmm. for the Cougars yeah maybe just that new map is just really like I just really been practicing for it oh sometimes taking out oh bowkeeper <laughs> like they're watching to go a totally cutting off that it's right, right there where uh, I think Kalia is as fate. That oh wow! Never mind. I won't speak for a minute. Discount core. A lot of things are happening so far. Two v three for the Firebirds. Civil using a few of their oh. It's going through a hoax. Minute left. There's a lot of time that they can work with. Teleports ready. Oh, wow. Right idea, just timed very, very poorly. Mm -hmm. Not Well, not very Last poorly. I would say very unfortunate for both of the Cougars to just be there and be able to take it up to 7-4 to four now. For sure. The last round in the half. I think they're just hoping it was going to be only one of them uh, that was over there. But, you know, still a good, a, a good one for the Firebirds taking out two or uh, three of those uh, um, Cougars. And it looks like Discount Corn is going to have to only be buying... Oh, never mind. They got a Phantom. <laughs> looks like the Cougars are going to take it slow here. Toxins Trying to wait for the Firebirds to kind of use some of their util. Yeah, they're finding their rhythm. There goes the KO Ultimate. Oh, and he slips through. Oh, something taking out Bowkeeper. They can be re- Oh, wow. They already have ultimate again. Res. And they're getting a res on him. Okay, I'll take that Sybil. Find the Viper in the wall. will go down. Happy Smug taking out Pokemon. Wow. Sugar Rush taking out Happy Smug. Coney taking out Sugar Rush. Just a whole bloodbath. Wow. And the Firebirds come out on top. That was a lot. That was a lot. <laughs> that was a ton. And that was very well played by the Firebirds. I just loved how they were able to execute that so fast and so properly to take out the Cougars. Mm hmm. It was really well done. The Firebirds rotated on that site as quickly as they could, and that was absolutely wicked. Ooh. And that was that was the the half. Oopsies. <laughs> All right. As you swap over, it is eight and four for the Firebirds. They will now be on attack. Looks like a lot of them are going to be opting to go ghosts. It looks like only one of them will be going classic as it seems honestly in my opinion i totally believe that the classic is a little bit better than the ghost i think might as well yeah. just save money the first round don't don't buy anything other than maybe a couple util items but other than that i think it's just so worth it to just save it fully i agree because even in the next round if you don't win they can't buy the round after or else they have a huge eco diff Ooh. Wow! 
You don't see that every day. Pokes taking out Civil with their Molly. Can we can we talk about this wall that Lum Dink's got going on for Viper? Very well played. Oh wow! I was looking at at, at the at the blue one up for the Cougar. Oh style. no! Oh, Bowkeeper taking out Coney in their little sneaky spot, and Sugar Rush taking out Kaleos. It's all tied up. However, the Cougars do have a lot of damage on them. Just takes one. Pokes has the Molly. There it is. Oh no! Oh, oh the run to oh, what? Oh, I think there's time. I don't think there's. I don't think there's enough time. Oh, come on. Let's hope. Let's hope. Let's hope. Wow. Oh, wow. 0.36 seconds left. Discount corn makes the clutch defuse. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Very well played by him. Very well played by the Cougars. <laughs> As we get tossed snacks a little bit and <laughs> take a little bit of a break. <laughs> I like what the Cougars are doing here. I think what they're kind of switching up their play style is welcoming we're sorry working for them very well mm -hmm. going up eight and five in the second half taking the first round which is huge for once you switch other halves and yeah, they're just taking great space on defense they're doing a little bit different no one is directly on a site right now a lot of them in art oh and discount corn and bowkeeper taking out a few of them and it's all tied up 3v3 slum dink picking up some of the mess able to grab a bulldog here trying to look for any other cougars that are around but it looks like the only other one is on site yeah and they're all flanking to meet them there so they got to be watching their back so hopefully they notice two will be an art and one deep under side but coney is quickly flanking around there goes one civil to get taken out sugar rush takes out slum dank 2v2 so far very interesting play there by hoax being able oh to wow Almost Ooh. gets it! Wow! Very well played by Hoax there. Flashing himself and just getting a pick there and then also getting another pick. Yeah, that was really well done. <laughs> getting both of those headshots, that, that is something I could never do. I, I could never That's buy, not what buy that gun. Is. You know, because I always feel like I'm going to just miss every single shot. And it looks like this time they'll be spending their money. God, that was definitely the round to win going nine and five looks like they're gonna be five man pushing a and no one's gonna be on there <laughs> they're quickly taking uh -oh. it oh the cougars know it and hoax pops their ult Welcome to my oh my wow and that is a free point for the firebirds coney taking out bowkeeper that's one plant goes down Sybil takes out Slum Dink. Happy Smart takes out Sybil. Quick trade. 4v3. I'm just so into it right now. I Look know. This is trying to get a backside. Wow. Break. I'm going to stop it. One enemy wow. It looks like, oh, I thought he wasn't going to be able to connect, but he does. There we go. Firebirds take round 15 as we go 10 and 5. Yeah, that was perfect. There's just there was no cougar on a side. That was just really well done. So hopefully they'll change that up a little bit. Yeah, I I think they they kind of need to for that. Mm -hmm. That's very unfortunate events right there. And the Firebirds were able to capitalize on it, get on point, use some of their alts, and be able to take that round going up ten and five for sure. And Coney being there just Beautiful to take out there. the ones that were flanking, it was just sure. well done. Firebirds knew where they all were. It was just amazingly played nothing more nothing less looks like the they're the flat. a little spread out oh there's one there, one. there, there goes two. two and it looks like the firebirds are gonna try to push on to on a b site Rush taking a happy smart it's all tied up as well as in health there goes the plant and see this is this is it just that very quick attack and that's what the Oh, discount corn taking out slum dink. Got caught off guard. They gotta play a little bit more defensively. Kayla taking out sugar rush. 1v2 for hoax. Can they get that 4k? One. Oh! 
Oh, oh, no. So Very close. Doing a little bit of a tea bag. <laughs> and makes the defuse. Takes a round for the Cougars. 10 6 so far as we head into round 17. I just have no words on that one. I feel like the Cougars were able to execute it very properly there and just be able to take on the numbers. Mm -hmm. So it did seem like the Firebirds in the first part of it did have it going, but it seems like Discount Corn and Sugar Rush and a couple other of the Cougar playmakers were able to get something rolling there and flowing. So yeah, for sure. It was rolling and flowing. <laughs> rolling and flowing. And it looks like this time firebirds are a little bit upset they're going to be going to a site and chamber's going to be using alt on that b long looks like viper's also going to be using her alt here on a i think the firebirds do not care they want that site i love it they're backing off <laughs> oh yeah and that's the strat that slum deck is stealing from me that constant oh, rotate oh sybil takes out coney but slum deck tanks out levis Two more in art for the Firebirds to pick up at. Well, quickly rotating over. The Firebirds are just playing their time. Playing mind games. Just waiting for another one to peek out. I think Slumdink is going to find one. And he does. Wow. Takes out Sybil very quickly and very swiftly. However, there's a Viper. Going to be facing them. Flanking around. Oh, and that's a really good ultimate Looking fire happy Samoid. Because now that chamber ultimate will be down. Oh, because Kaliok gets taken out by Bowkeeper. They still don't have bomb down. 30 seconds left. Oh, and again, that chamber cannot. Oh, cannot use their ultimate. The next three seconds uh -oh. now. Oh, she's Oaks there. Are all Looking for someone. Trying to get some type of info. Flashes. Oh, oh. finds one. Does a lot of damage, however. The spike is down. That's one. Oh. Let's find two. Hoax sees him. Hoax knows. Finds the gun. There's two. two. That's right. There we go. Wow. Well done by Hoax. Get a nice 3K right there. 11 and 6 as we go into round 18. Wow very very well played with hoax there being patient using his alt to just get on to the midpoint and be able to find those other people yes absolutely <laughs> all right and looks like our chamber is going to be using their alt right now opting to save this round very smart you want to play? Let's play. Oh, they want Ooh. to play. Oh, oh, he knows. Oh, almost gets this kind of corn. A lot of damage done. Just not being able to connect with that Viper wall up there. And it looks like Happy Samoid's going to push in here and also get flashed. Oh, but gets rooted. Wow. That was a great combo getting rooted by the fade. And also, KO using their ability, or Ooh, what is it called? Granada. Very well placed grenade by Silvis there. Mm -hmm. 4v3 so far for the Firebird. Some tank has a lot of damage on himself. However, Sybil having a, a lot as well. Sugar Rush takes out Hoax. 3v3 situation again. Mm -hmm. There goes the knife. You are suppressed. Very One. nice. With poor health, uh -oh. and it's killed. 2v2 again. One There's one! Come on, get the second one. Oh! Wow. Tony takes a bow keeper with the ultimate. Love to see it. A little confused there by, by Slum Dank with draining all his bullets and i think he's gonna go for the classic kill and now coney going <laughs> oh no he's not going for it i thought he was gonna whip out the operator there and be a little bold being a little bit bold now nah, often to to help out their teammates with their money troubles <laughs> <laughs> as they all get vandals and this match point on round 19. firebirds with two alts here and same with the cougars let's see if they they can put it to use in a very high tense situation they know that none of them have off so oh, oh, oh coney does have off, have off. Oh, oh, oh. 
this completely shift the chop the the, the, the tides <laughs> Looks like slum dang's gonna get on on site with his all Very nice the swamp is down as, With the fade out as well Hoax staying a little back trying to wait for someone Someone is creeping up but Hoax does not know that Yeah, okay, it takes out lead this Oh Oh, Sybil taking out Slum Dank. 3v3. Oh, wow. 2v2. One coming from the flank. Oh, no. 1v1 situation here. Can they take it? There goes a the flash. Wow. Very well played by the Firebirds. And well done by the Cougars. They found very good ground, I, I felt, on that map. Just the Firebirds have just been practicing a little bit more. That they, they, it's, it's just well done. Oaks out here going 24 and 11. Crazy. Bringing the MVP <laughs> home for the Firebirds once and again. Seven first bloods. That, wow. <laughs> I've, I don't have a lot to say about that. That's just a lot. <laughs> yeah, that an amazing game. That was just a wonderful match. Thanks so much for playing with us, Cougars. That was just absolutely. Intense. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> so very well played by both teams and good luck to the Cougars and the rest of their season. Um, but I think the Firebirds out outplayed them here tonight and mm -hmm. it was very well to see and it was super nice. So for sure they had several different strats going into it as well. That they, they were constantly changing, experimenting with new things. And that I mean the greatest play I saw was just using that the the fade um to tether them in place. And half, or I think it was half. Yep, a happy Samoyed using their yep. uh, KO grenade and stopping them right in the middle. That is just so well thought out. I, I can't even imagine how much IQ these guys have. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, when you spend as much time on the game as Slum Dank does with his lineups, mm -hmm. I think you're gonna figure it all out. And, and as well, it's works as well as money for all the skins that they 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 yeah, buy. Exactly. I'm just like, might as well get their get their skill up and get their IQ, their game knowledge up as well. Right. I mean. It, that is one of them. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that was just absolutely crazy. I always love watching it. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and do some of the things. I'm gonna try and learn from that. <laughs> so I'm pretty bad. No matter what something says, I am very bad at this game. <laughs> but it looks like we're gonna take a little break. I think we have an interview coming up. Ah, uh, possibly. We, we could double check real quick, and we'll, we'll be right know. back. If not, we'll close it out and let you know what's going on for the rest of the week for the Firebirds. But we'll be right back in five.
and we are back firebirds and we have one of the players that we're playing tonight and they came to come give us a few words so and who are we here with i'm alex uh gamer tag is cryotic okay so and how did you feel about the games tonight pretty good it's been this is my first game back in two weeks i was sick for two weeks ago and then last week i just didn't get to play because team's really good we'll beat too. <laughs> yeah I was, I was on for third map but we didn't get there that's well, i mean that's glad you that, guys that's a good, good thing yeah. yeah so um going into the first game what was your guys's mentality what would would you guys have set up because oh, you guys we, rolled through that first game uh us five have gotten to like really know how we play together we fit well together uh going into it we were just like we just kept motivation high we knew we were gonna we went in with a winning mindset knew what to do when to do it we calmed really well got really we went off really fast we yeah. took off really fast early on and uh yeah we just kept our spirits high we just kept it the energy kept, kept coming up yeah and, and yeah. you had some really good picks there on bottom yeah. in that mid area and yeah all those viper walls and stuff like that um they do pay off after oh, a yeah. while and you just they, got a rat you just got a rat exactly sometimes you do and and it works and it played out very well for you guys but going forward in the season what are you guys expecting so now being i believe three and zero. uh waiting for a challenge <laughs> everything has been challenging up till now it's just we're doing really good i'm, I'm really looking forward to it for i'm looking forward to a team that we go like one and one and it's coming down to the third game yeah i just want to i just want to feel the adrenaline yeah i just so, want the adrenaline pumping in us yeah know? and i believe you guys would do amazing oh, yeah. things once that adrenaline oh yeah pumping with us but it's nice having you for the post game interview it was, and yeah it was nice being here. we look forward to having the rest of your season streamed on carthage sports so tune back in next monday but this following wednesday we have i believe league of legends if i'm not mistaken and we will be back with you guys on wednesday so you guys have a good night firebirds and we will see you then